Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today we will study the topics of frame theory. That is, we will study that an integral domain can be embedded into a field and we will learn about the field of quotients. I will complete this topic in two lectures. Now, let's get started. A theorem An integral domain can be embedded into a field. Stop proof. Let D be an integral domain and let S be defined such that a comma b where a b belongs to d and b is not equal to zero define a relation on s by a comma b is related to c comma d if and only if a d is equal to b c now it can be easily verified that this relation is an equivalence relation. For that we need to check that it is reflexive. That is a comma b is related to a comma b for all a b belonging to s symmetric. That is a comma b is related to b comma a and third property which we need to show is transitivity that is if a comma b is related to c comma d and if c comma d is related to e comma f it should imply that a comma b is related to e comma f it can be easily shown using the definition therefore I am leaving it up to you now this relation partitions S into this joint equivalence classes let equivalence class of a comma b be denoted by closed brackets a comma b f b the set of all these equivalence classes we will show that F forms field under addition and multiplication defined by A comma B plus equivalence class of C comma D is equal to A D plus B C into B D equivalence class and multiplication a B equivalence class into C D equivalence class is equal to equivalence class of A C comma B D. Now to show that addition is well defined, what we do? We take two elements equal. A B is equal to A dash b dash and c d is equal to c dash d dash then it implies that a comma b is related to a dash b dash and c comma d is related to c dash d dash which in turn implies a b dash is equal to b a dash C 
cd dash is equal to dc dash which implies that ab dash into dd dash is equal to va dash dd dash and cd dash into bb dash is equal to dc dash into bb dash हमें अब basically show क्या करना है e comma b plus c comma d is equal to a dash comma b dash plus c dash comma d dash that is we need to show a d plus b c comma b d is equal to a dash d dash plus b dash c dash comma b dash d dash ये hold कब करेगा if A D plus B C comma B D is related to A dash D dash plus B dash C dash comma B dash D dash, and this is two if and only if A D plus B C into B dash D dash is equal to A dash D dash plus B dash C dash into B D. That is. A D B D dash plus B B dash C D dash is equal to A dash D dash B D plus B dash C dash B D. अब ये true है क्यों? क्योंकि हमने अभी अभी पहले किया है and similarly from second equation we can see That these two quantities are equal, and therefore this holds. Which in turn implies that this hold, and therefore addition is well defined. Now, to check whether multiplication is well defined, in the same manner as we did before, we take. Two elements, A B is equal to A dash B dash, and C D is equal to C dash B dash. Similarly, जैसे हमने पहले किया था, इसी से related वापस दो equations आ जाएंगी. That is, A B dash is equal to B A dash, C D dash is equal to C dash T. This in turn implies A B dash C D dash is equal to B A dash C dash D. इनको multiply कर दिया इन दो equations को. Now well defined show करने के लिए we need that A comma B dot C comma D is equal to A dash B dash dot C dash D dash. This in turn implies A C comma B D. Is equal to a dash c dash comma b dash d dash, which is if and only if a c b dash d dash is equal to b d a dash c dash, which is this equation. And hence we have shown that multiplication is also well defined. Now that addition is commutative can be easily shown. And similarly, associativity can also be easily shown. We come to additive identity and additive inverse. Existence of zero element. Let a comma b belonging to F be any element. Then. A comma B plus C comma D is equal to A D plus B C comma B D. Only किसके equal लाने equal to A comma B such that this C comma D 
gives us the zero element. Therefore, it implies if and only if AD plus BC comma BD is related to A comma B if and only if AD plus BC into B is equal to BD A that is ABD plus B square C is equal to BD A this is equal to B square C is equal to 0 now just up saying the elements integral domain S ki basically define ki hai us mein humne kaise define kiya tha B should not be equal to 0 B is not equal to 0 which in turn implies C is equal to 0 and therefore 0 element is 0 comma D is 0 element now 0 comma X is equal to 0 comma Y for any non-zero x and y belonging to t as 0 comma x is related to 0 comma y if and only if 0 dot y is equal to 0 dot x. Thank you.